Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the inspection with Cripware Pro. We are not discussing all the points but a few points which is important for the inspection. Before rushing to the setup, let's see what is a Cripware Pro. Cripware are actually high angle ultrasonic longitudinal curves. As shown in the figure B, we can notice that most of the ultrasonic energy is concentrated uh, is at an angle from 70 to 80. Uh, that is higher ranges and uh, we can also note that above 80 80 to 90 degree there is uh, a small amount of um, I mean there is also some energy present and mostly this uh, at this angle the upper part of this envelope that is like 86 degree uh, it will uh, it is very near it is very close to the um, first critical angle and it propagates as uh, some creep waves also from the figure a we can notice that there are uh, two kinds of waves uh, that is 86 degree high uh, high angle uh, longitudinal wave, what, what we are calling it as a creep wave and the second one is uh, shear wave uh, as the wave is propagating um, creep wave is propagating um, through the surface it generates uh, shear waves it continuously loses energy generating shear waves on the left we can see two sidle holes from these two sidle holes we are getting two echoes uh, that we can see on the bottom the measurements are uh, not exact because we have not calibrated based on the shear waves we calibrated uh, the setup for the triple and on the right we can see uh, the node signal uh, at 5 mm depth this is a beam tool setup made to understand the concept is here. As we increase the wedge angle, we can see both longitudinal waves and shear waves are present. At a particular angle, the longitudinal uh, longitudinal waves merge with the surface and creeps through the surface called as creep waves. And after the first critical angle, there will be only shear uh, shear waves as we can see. And most of the probes are shear wave probes are cut at above this angle and uh, at the lower at a particular end our creep wave probes is cut in such a way that it generates 86 degree uh, longitudinal wave we already know that the velocity of longitudinal waves are two times than that of the shear waves that means the from a uh, same reflector or same sound path the sig longitudinal uh, the signal from the long uh, due to the longitudinal wave reaches uh, faster than the uh, signal from the uh, shear wave. This point is to be noted while using the creep wave because after the time the shear wave reaches or after the uh, after we see the shear wave signals there will be lot of uh, signals from many reflectors or due to mode conversions uh, we cannot um, uh, manage or we cannot interpret which signal is due to which mode or which reflection reflection so we have to use the creep wave probes between uh, uh, the shear wave uh, reaches the receiver while doing lower thickness we have to note that uh, the shear components will be having the higher echoes or it will be dominant and uh, in the figure we can see that creep wave is very uh, small in amplitude and other components are in high amplitude For calibrating sensitivity, we used offshore standard ENV OS F101. There are three notches, uh, 0.5 mm notch uh, and 1.5 mm depth and uh, 2.2 uh, mm notches. The probe what I am using is uh, 2 MHz, uh, 86 long, uh, degree longitudinal uh, creep wave probe. And the uh, acquisition unit, any ultrasonic uh, uh, unit can be used. Uh, now I am using uh, MX2, Olympus MX2. A new setup is made from setup new. And the part and the weld, uh, it actually doesn't matter because we are not going to uh, size the defects. We are, uh, creep wave inspection is just a qualitative method. The parameters are set, uh, I, am, I have connected to the UT connector 
and it is a dual probe so uh, i'm using uh, the right parameters that is uh, frequency 2 megahertz and uh, pitch catch it's not pulse echo uh, to reduce the noise uh, the pulser and receiver ut settings has to be modified after seeing the signal let's uh, see how noisy the signal is let's keep the probe on the uh, notch and let's wait for the signal actually i have kept on the notch and uh, because of the low db the signal is not visible so let's increase the db uh, yeah almost it's uh, have to increase up to 20 to 76 uh, db gain to get the signal and the signal is very noisy we have to uh, uh, reduce the noise and here energy we have to use high energy so that uh, it will pan uh, the noise can be reduced in, uh, in that one and averaging the electronic noise can be reduced by adding little um, adding averaging and i have done smoothing so that the signal is almost uh, stable now then let's reduce some db to get the signal on the screen here we are only monitoring the sound path we are not going to measure the depth or uh, any quantitative uh, analysis now uh, we are going to make the tcg so go to the setup wizards calibration and uh, tcg so before starting the tcg uh, we have to uh, place the probes in such a way that at various uh, uh, depth like 5 1, uh, one centimeter 1.5 centimeter 2 centimeter from the notch and we have to catch the signals for each uh, corresponding uh, sound path so that is how we are drawing the uh, TCG so we can see now on the screen this is from the 5 mm sound path adjust the gain such that the one of uh, the reflection from the one mm notch is reaching 80 uh, percentage of the screen size so the sensitivity is set and after that i'm moving to the next uh, distance that is 10 mm so after that uh, uh, i have added that point with the 10 mm distance and again i'm moving to 15 mm 15 mm from the notch we can see that echo while moving away from the notch the uh, echo height is reducing considerably uh, things to be noted that the creepos as the creepo propagates it loses energy by dispersing to other modes we cannot use uh, more than 20 or 25 and if we still calibrate or draw tcg above these points it will be highly noisy so up to 20 i have calibrated so we can use this uh, setup up to 20 mm um, sound path so the tcg is drawn now that's how the setup is made and in the next video we will come up with the applications like the main application is uh, the inspection of the welds uh, yeah, or uh, it's assisting a supplementary inspection technique uh, along with the toft which covers the dead zone or uh, only during the uh, cladded I means i mean the inspection weld inspection of a cladded uh, surface and uh, even if the first leg inspection is possible then we have to use everything in uh, all the inspection in the first leg in order to cover the top 5 mm we are using creep wave another uh, application is to use the surface crack that uh, we will come up in detail uh, in the next video so for now bye thank you thank you for watching